G'day sports fans, it's Phantom 100 here. Welcome back to God of War, the Let's Play. A few things have happened in between the last episode and this one, and uh, I will explain that to you as, uh, as quickly and simply as possibly possible. Possibly possible. I can't even English. Great. Click on those buttons and subscribe to my amazing commentary. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> I already had one attempt at recording this. I got to a point that was really difficult and realized that uh, I haven't spent any currency on upgrades. So... If we go in here and have a look real quick, we've uh, we've upgraded our stats quite substantially, uh, added more vitality and strength, and we've pretty much maxed out any of the stuff that we could upgrade in terms of armor, and we also did some upgrades on our weapons as well um, to try and help us going forward because I realized that we were like kind of under-leveled for everything. So I'm hoping that after spending that time doing the upgrades with the Dwarf Boys here, um, this next section shouldn't be so difficult now, hopefully. It was kind of hard. I went into this next section... And, uh, yeah, things weren't leveled up. I didn't have a resurrection stone. I was unprepared. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to scratch this to try again. So that's where we're at right now. Um, if you're able to hear it, because my microphone is so sensitive, it is currently raining outside. It's getting heavier as we go. So I don't know how much that will bleed through and stuff. And uh, there was even some thunder earlier. So I don't know. If, if you guys like the sound of it and it comes through, then yay. If I'm able to edit it out, then fantastic on my side, right? Anyway, so we're going to travel between realms. Like, as in, like, we're going to go to that little empty space. Um, but there's actually a bit more to it than that, because we, uh, we're going to be going to a spot that I actually took note of a few times before. Into the void. I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find your own path, right? Bollocks. So, this little area I've come across many times before when I've come through here, and I've gotten to this point and just kind of ignored it and be like, okay, well... Like, I've gotten here and gone, oh, that's interesting, what if I could jump off this? Um, we can't, but uh, now the game does want us to interact with this, so this is quite interesting. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, Time for a leave of faith. It, lads? It's been an honor. Our faith head. Time for the leap of faith. Kratos is cosplaying as a Assassin's Creed protagonist right now. I, my, my initial reaction to this was actually pretty funny. I thought it was absolutely incredible, the, the visuals they'd done here. Man, this, this would be so much better at a higher frame rate, I swear to God. Oh, how can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. So, as it turns out, Tyr was a very, very smart giant. And honestly, in my opinion, he sounds like a pretty cool dude to meet. Pity he's kind of dead, you know, because uh, he seems pretty chill, pretty smart. He's figured out how to travel between realms undetected, did all his own thing. He just, yeah, he was cool. He's like the MVP of this world, honestly. The history MVP. And let's open this giant big door now and come back through this area. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. It is very empty. When I, f when I first got here, I was literally about to say, this looks sparse. I was about to say it, and I was beaten to it by my mirror, and it made me laugh. And I'm sorry you guys don't get to see that, but like, that first attempt when I was just really bad, so that's why I decided to upgrade stuff and come back here and try this again. I didn't get much further than this. You'll, I'll tell you when we get to the part I was stuck on. It definitely caused me great irritation, and I'm hoping that it's better this time. Absorbing the stone's energy. Yep. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling to your spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Ah, oh, he jinxed us by saying that. Now we have friends now. <laughs> this is considerably worse. The only thing good about these guys is that there's a lot of them, and they're not super strong. They're just, ow, annoying. We do have a lot more health now, so I'm hoping that that helps. 
don't appreciate ugh, that though. Oh fudge. Oh fudge. Oh fudge, oh fudge. Ow. That shouldn't have hit me, but it did. That's not fair. Rude. Ow, fudge. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. Always the back, isn't it? Oh, we will take this. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Shoot him, boy! Good job, boy! Making me proud. That's it. Shoot him, boy! Get him! All right now for the fun part. Uh, that's also sarcasm because Mimir jinxed us again. I need to quickly pick up this health over here. We're gonna need it. Oh, looks like Alphonse. Yeah, ready. And straight through this door comes a friend. No, not that door. That door. Now these guys are annoying. This one uh, likes to spam an attack. The, the attack that like hits the ground, and uh, it's uh, it does a lot of damage. And just for the fun of it, uh, it also blinds you. And then you get so far with this buddy, and then uh, he has a friend appear, and you're one v twoing two of these guys, and it's really, really annoying. So I'm hoping, now I have increased health and stuff, oh, there it is, there's the blind, and there's the other dude coming through now. Yeah, this is where I was stuck. I was stuck here, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even kidding, I was stuck here for like, 40 minutes, and it made me very mad. So we're going to attempt to do it better now. Oh, okay. I got one down, like when I tried this before, I got one of them down, and the other one kept killing me, and it was really infuriating like legit I hadn't been that mad in a little while I don't like to admit it but the blind and the damage it does was really triggering me and now just to add to my irritation my nose is itchy as heck which I don't like okay we're just gonna rage we're gonna burn our rage here we can we've got it so I might as well uh, let's just whiff all of our attacks that works great probably should be focusing on this dude he's not the weakest one I don't even know why I'm bothering. Ow! Boy, I need to use your need you to use your attack right now. Got a new attack, which is really cool. Uh, which appears to have hit nothing, so that's proves that, that was a good investment. I need the boy to shoot these things. These things. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, let's let's do a switch here. What? I can't hit you. Oh fudge! That's close. That's it, boy. Yes, good job. Whoa. And then we're gonna charge this guy. Did we just miss? I think we just missed him. Fudge. But as you can see, at first I thought that only one of them did the blinding, but they actually both do it, and it's very, very irritating. But you know what? We're doing some good damage here. We're holding our own a little bit more. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it, do it does help that we are uh, we're aware of what they do now. I completely whiffed all of that, didn't I? Hit it, boy! Please? Yes! Yes! Oh, that's really good for CC. Okay, that's annoying. Just gotta keep casting the blind. You have a stun, though. Oh, fudge! Oh, that hurts! Not as much as it would in the past, though. Our health is definitely a lot better. I definitely feel more confident in this little endeavor of ours now. Yeah, we're doing good now. Oh, I forgot that I have that move. I've unlocked some new attacks as well. And I just keep forgetting they exist. He's still alive. I thought he was dead. That's why I stopped. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Not more. No, not the blind again. They keep reapplying the blind. Where is he, boy? At least the boy can see him. Ow. You nerd. No more! I killed one. You see you see that dead? I did it! Oh. Uh, we need health. That's a health pickup, thank you. Let's see, at least the boy can shoot him. Actually, he's pretty weak. Oh, 
Okay, when he lands on the ground, we're gonna get the boy to use his attack. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. Good. 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 Oh, we mutualed. It's awkward. Oh, I didn't hit him with that at all, did I? Don't stop, Kratos. Don't stop. Oh, no. Fudge. We're super weak right now. No! Fudge! Um, okay, you know, we're burning the stone. Because I don't want to do this entire fight again. We're burning the resurrection stone. We've had to do it. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. We come back with a decent amount of health because we bought one of the good ones. God damn, how much health have you got? Oh, the, uh, the axe might have been a better choice, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh my god, that's so unfair. Ow! I hate you. Just... Ah, oh, yes! Oh... Oh, oh, I'm finally done with it. Dear Lord, yeah, I was stuck in there for like 40 minutes and I was very mad. No, no. No, no, please. We burned a resurrection stone. What kind of fight is this going to be? Okay, okay, it's just small dudes. It's okay, I can deal with that. We use the blades because area effect is better for mobs. Hopefully they are nice and drop me some health. Be great. Seems to be the case. Oh, we're getting attacked from behind. It's okay though. Uh, boy, use your attack. Because the boars are really cool and I love it. I'm here for it. Oh, behind us. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, chance here. Boom. That was good. That felt good. Oh, we got to get out of danger though. Oh, nice grab, boy. Oh, let's... Oh, God, I hate that. Good old stun. Ow, that's not very nice. Oh, okay. You just straight up just uh, do that, huh? Rude. He's focusing the boy. Oh, no. We need to take out these dudes. Okay, man, I have to play dodgeball a lot with these guys. Okay, you guys are not nothing compared to um those two big dudes so I'm not too worried oh I don't like that I don't have the resurrection stone no that is definitely a problem oh okay he's got a powered up frost axe like hey frost axe isn't my thing bro yeah okay. no not at all not even close for me there'll be plenty more plenty more So basically, it's taking us through all the areas we've been to and putting us against some of the toughest or most annoying enemies. Including a big boy! What's the bet? He won't be the only one. Oh, look at that. And they're big health bars. They're basically boss. This is basically boss rush. <laughs> the boy's actually commenting on it. Oh, two at the same time. Yeah, sure. That's fair. Right? But to be fair... This guy is not that tough, but he's going to be doing a lot of damage to this big boy. So I'm not complaining about. Alright, we're just going to finish you off. You've been very helpful. You've got the dude to almost half health. I'm all about it. Oh, fudge. Uh, boy, use your attack. Special move. Boar cannon. That's not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Oh. Oh, that's right, so if we stun him and we can do that, then we recover health as well, see? Because the thing we've got now, instead of a heal, it's a stun. And if we can grab enemies from the stun, then we get health. Uh, and the healing is better than the uh, other item I was using this whole time. So, I changed that up, and it definitely seems to help. I like how there's a little tiny bit of his health still showing, you see that? Like, as the health goes down, there's still that little grey mark there. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it means something. I'm also not appreciating the fact that I'm burning right now. It's not a mechanic I'm happy about. Just hitting with both of these. We are doing so much damage to him. Let's whip out the axe. Actually, boy, shoot him with your special ability. Well, that's doing some good damage. He's also very unhappy about it. Oh, that was close. And then, do this, and then we can grab him. Look at that, we beat this boss. 
We made this boss look easy. Holy heck. Um, the upgrades have really made a difference in terms of health and everything. I mean, yes, I did die against those same two dudes, but that's not the point. The point is, the upgrades helped after all. And I wasn't sure if I'd done enough. Oh, what's going on? You stop. I think uh, it's over. Don't jinx it. But where are we? What is this? <gasps> Light ruining attack. A slash attack that protects Kratos by pushing away all nearby enemies. View a menu. What does this do? It's a Blades of Chaos one. Ooh. Actually, that's pretty cool. Okay. So instead of a charge, instead of the Spartan charge, they have this, uh, which is a lower level. Uh, we can upgrade it. See if that improves the damage. It's, it's still not super high damage. But let's see. So, it does way more stun. I'm going to try it. It does stun, and I like that idea. So, we're going to try that real quick. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, that's pretty cool. We get a new ability, we've got to try it out. You know, we owe it to ourselves. Now, now that we've stopped, where do we go exactly? Huh? What's was that noise? Do we go to this door again? I'm assuming yes. This is where we came in, so... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Look, we're back in Midgar. Ah. The bridge. Yep. Get it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Excellent. Now travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. It's crazy. It's literally return to Tears Travel Room. That's crazy. We managed to make it back here. We weren't supposed to. We weren't supposed to be able to. This, wow, that was Tear is so cool. I love the fact that so much of the story has now been about Tear and the stuff that he's achieved. Like it's really cool. Also, what do you guys think of Kratos' armor? Because I bought him some different armor. This is last episode. I bought him some different armor and then maxed it. This is all maxed armor in terms of leveling. Um, I'm very proud of it. I think it's a really trendy look for him. I like the colors. This is very colorful and fancy. Not what you'd expect of a, you know, brooding, gloomy, cranky old man. But, uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's really cool. I like the style of all the stuff in this game. And uh, once I saw all the options, I'm like, oh, not only are these, like, the best stat-wise to buy or craft in the store, um, they're probably some of the best looking, too. So I was pretty, I was pretty excited to do that. Have all these fancy upgrades. Make Kratos look all, you know, beefed up and ready to kick some butt. The boys are here. To make a racket, don't you? I mean, yeah, that's what we do. Make a racket is what we do, guys. Something else we can do for you? Come on, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, I could say the same to you. <laughs> I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear. How's it sounds to me? Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Oh. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get sentimental. Oh. See, they're really cool. I really love this little intro. I really hope, I really hope that they are in the next game as well. Like, I really like their interactions. I really want them to be in the next game, making stuff for us and all that sort of thing again. It, it won't feel the same without the dwarf boys, honestly. I don't know what in heck, I've titled videos after them. Time, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. Hmm, that is a good point. I wasn't I wasn't even considering that until just now, so thanks for Mia for being a level head. <laughs> I'll stop now. So everything's advancing quite well. I don't know how much more of the story we actually have left, but I'm definitely intrigued by what happens next. Because we've been working to get to Jotunheim this whole time, you know? So... It's actually... Okay, we're finally gonna get here. The realm of the giants, Jotunheim. Wait a minute, this isn't going to work. Why? There's no travel crystal. Oh. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One. 
Odin worked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. But for years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Wait, you want me to go and talk? I just talked to them, though. Oh, dear Lord. Here I was thinking, yeah, we're finally going to go to Jotunheim. Now the game wants me to go and talk to Brock and Zindri. You know, the Dorp boys, I was just praising, hoping they'd be in the next game, and we just had to talk to them, and a heart-to-heart, -heart, and, like, they reconciled, and Atreus reconciled with Sindri, and all that sort of thing. Now they tell me i got to go and talk to them again. Okay, well, all right. I, I hope that, uh... I hope they had the information we need. Kratos, please don't be mad at them. I swear to God, Kratos, don't be mad at them, please. Be good to the boys. They've been good to us. Come on. Hey, guys. Um, so, uh, have another question. Hey, guys. Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... I'm sorry. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... What the... He wanted me to build a... <laughs> He showed it to me, you see, and I... Sidri? The coin. Sir, will you excuse me? Oops. What the fudge? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? Hmm. It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue oh. that the serpent ate. Sorry about oh. that. Oh. Feeling much better. How you are okay, we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh, God, Sidri, you are... What the heck? He's special, isn't he? We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. So you're telling me I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I'd do it now. Just some sage advice. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? You're still asking about that. Now, see, as you guys will notice, if I go to like upgrading uh, we don't have anything available for the axe or the blades of chaos. Um, we don't have a lot of resources, so even like you can, you'll notice that like our chest armor and our waist armor and that is it here as an option to oh oh we can increase it. Okay, so if we increase this, why does it say we lose strength? Weird. Uh, or if we compare, oh no, because that's right, because we're already using a grip. Um, yeah, so we can't really upgrade anything. Don't have enough uh, to upgrade our talisman. So that's what we used to use, which is to burst of health. This one is release a shockwave, inflicts a moderate amount of stun damage. Passive effect that restores smaller health every time an enemy is stun grabbed. So I was like, that's going to be useful. Um, but yeah, we can't really increase our stats any longer. Oh, but there's one thing that we can do, though. We'll buy another resurrection stone. Uh, we'll just buy a superior one. Because uh, I'd almost forgotten that we spent it. So we'll get another one of those, because we have plenty of resources for that kind of thing. Uh, I don't think we have anything more to sell. We've got a lot of enchantments, but I don't know what's worth selling and what's not. Um, but yeah, we already did all upgrades so, and stuff, uh, so... You sticking around for grains of wisdom? Maybe. So yeah, so Mamiya said that we needed to be prepared. We kind of already were prepared because that bit we did before, the little boss round, um, was almost Let's impossible. To the horn? Okay, I think I remember to get there. Is it just straight this way? Or do we have to go somewhere else. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to summon the big boy. Are we going to actually, like, travel inside the serpent? Is that the whole thing? What if we... What if, is it, do we turn this? No, we can't interact with this, though. Where do we go? Oh, wait. Maybe we have to go down to the boat. I'm going to assume that we go down to the boat, which is down this way. Jump down here. Yeah, I think, I think I remember where the horn is, but I'm probably wrong about that. But we'll soon find out if we hit the boat. Get in. Alright. Let's kick off. I don't know if it's this way or what. 
It might be. I'm just not sure if, if this is the right way or not. It's been a while since we've been out this way at all. Um. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Well, wow. oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. What? In the world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Damn, that's depressing. That sucks. Odin is not... Odin is not cool in this world, honestly. He is he is not down with it. Odin is very uncool. Is it through... It's not through here. Where is it that we go? Okay, we're currently moving further away from the horn. I'm so confused. I'm going to go up this way. I've completely forgotten where this is. I know that we used it before, and we summoned the serpent to say hi, and I've completely... I, I just cannot remember. It's not saying that we're getting further away still. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to need you to shoot this real quick, boy. Thank you. Figuring that maybe if we go across here and get higher up. Oh, what's this? That was hack silver. Okay. Uh, does it look like we can progress here at this point? Can we? No. No, okay. That's useful. Mega useful. Oh wait, we can go up these stairs. Duh. I'm an idiot. It is what we're looking for up here or not. I honestly don't know. Oh, we're just we're just on the other side of this. Okay, that's um Hmm. I do not remember where the horn is. Twenty meters. We can't interact with this though. No, we, we, wait, wait, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot, aren't I? You're joking. I'm an idiot. You could interact with that. I, just, I was just standing at it at the wrong angle. Fudge, I'm so stupid. Now, the exciting part is, uh, I hate to blue ball you guys, but we are at about 29 minutes, so we're going to be leaving the end of the episode here, saving this point, hopefully respawning not too far away from this, and uh, next episode we're going to be playing the horn and calling the big boy over and Hopefully he's uh, compliant with our needs. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been a lot of fun recording this, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure how much further I've got to go, but it's been great. Uh, we are 10 subscribers away from 300 as of recording this video, which has got to be really excited. When we reach 300, there'll be a giveaway, a $100 Steam gift card, and two months of Game Pass Ultimate. Really excited about that giveaway. It's going to be more in the future. It's, I'm so appreciative of you guys clicking and watching the videos and interacting with them and subscribing. It means a lot to me that you guys are doing it. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I love doing this. And uh, I've been enjoying playing this game and sharing the entire adventure with you guys so far. And uh, it means a lot to me. So I appreciate that. So until the next time, guys, dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom 100 And I'm signing out for now.